let's create a non-destructive frequency separation using Affinity Photo for iPad. So the first thing we need to create is the low pass layer. Creating a low pass layer is quite simple. We just need to duplicate the layer and apply a blur. Let's make sure our image layer is selected and then tap and hold on the screen. This will show up the actions menu. From here we can tap on duplicate to make a copy of the selected layer. Now that we have a copy of our image layer, we can use the filters panel to add a Gaussian blur. We want to work non-destructively, so let's turn on the live layer switch and select Gaussian blur. We can increase the blur radius with the controls on the left. This looks about right for now. I will tap on the layer options and tap on the name to change its name. Awesome, we got our low pass layer. Time for the high pass layer. For this we need to create two copies. On the top copy we then need to apply the same blur and invert it. When we blend this using the average blend mode with the lower copy we get the high pass. As a final step we group these two layers and use the linear blend mode to blend it with the low pass to get our original image back. So let's apply this to our document. I will select the original image and duplicate it twice using the hold action and selecting duplicate. Once I have my two duplicates I will position them above the low pass layer. As I need to use the same blur from the low pass I will select the Gaussian blur from the low pass and using the three dots at the top I can open up the menu and then select duplicate length. This will make a link copy of the Gaussian blur filter, meaning changing one of them will automatically update the other. I can now drag and drop this link copy to the top layer. I don't know if this is a bug in the current version, but the blur radius has been reset. So let me set back the blur radius. I'll make sure the image layer is selected and from the adjustments panel I will select the invert adjustment. The invert adjustment is added on top of the layer stack, but it only needs to be applied to the top image layer. To do that I can easily drag and drop it to that layer. Awesome, we now have a blurred inverted image. To get the high pass I will need to change the blend mode to average. For this we can go to the layer options and select the average blend mode. And there is our high pass layer. To have this blend in with the low pass, I first need to group the top two layers. I can select both of them by swiping to the left and when both of them are selected we can press the group icon to group them. Let's now go to the layers option and first rename it to high pass and then change the blend mode to linear light. Excellent, our high pass is ready and as you can see the original image is now restored. We got ourselves a non-destructive frequency separation. I can go to the blur and change the blur radius. As you see this has no effect as changing the blur on the low pass also adjusts the blur on the high pass because they are linked. The image will stay the same. I can turn off the high pass and the low pass and as you can see the image will stay the same with or without the low and high pass. Now you can do whatever you want to do with the frequency separation as usual. But a nice trick is that you can use the high pass layer only to make the image sharper. When I only enable the high pass notice the sharpening effect. I can tap on the blur layer and adjust the radius to control the sharpening effect. Pretty cool. Let's zoom in a bit more to see the effect more clearly. And this, my friends, is how you make a non-destructive frequency separation. Our high pass layer is actually a copy of the high pass filter effect built into Affinity already. You could also use that filter to create the sharpening effect. In the upcoming videos I will share how we can extend this method to create different sharpening effects. Thank you for watching and until the next video.